Good morning everyone. Children, let's continue with the remaining steps of wool processing. So, just after scouring of wool, the next step is sorting and grading. After scouring, the damaged and low quality wool is removed. This process is called sorting. The process of sorting the wool according to the length, color and texture of hair is called grading. The fibers are scoured again and dried. So children, at this stage, wool is ready to make yarn. Some parts of the sheep's coat have better hair than others. This good quality wool from the shoulders and sides of the sheep is used for clothing while the inferior quality wool which is obtained from the lower legs is used to make rugs. Next step is removing burrs and carding. So children do you know what are burrs? Well burrs are soft fluffy fibers in wool and these are removed manually that is by hand. Before wool can be used for making fabric, it is disentangled and clean. So children, this process of separating and straightening out the wool fibers is called carding. It can be done by hand or by machine. Now next step in wool processing is dyeing. You know children, as the natural color of fleece of sheep and goat is brown, white or black, so they are dyed in different colors. The next step after dyeing is making yarn. So children, what is yarn? Well, yarn is a continuous strand of fibers grouped or twisted together and used to make textile fabrics so just after dyeing the fibers the fibers are straightened they are combed and rolled by passing through spinning machines the strands are then twisted and made into yarn children now after spinning the last step in wool processing is waving and finishing after spinning, woolen yarn is woven or knitted into fabric. Here, longer fibers are made into wool for sweaters, while the shorter fibers are spun and woven into woolen clothes. So finally, the woven fabric is then sent for finishing. So children, that's all about wool processing. Thank you.